see Tom with the uh, question on sliding. Is Tom here? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, there you go. Sorry. I thought it was a different Tom, but anyhow. Okay, so let's get into it. Um, so your question, do you want to say it or should I say it? Well, I can ask it. Okay, so um, I'm just starting to throw a couple of slides in here and there. And um, I find that, and I, I got one song as an example. And my question is, when you, um, when you go slide, let's say from the, uh, from the uh, third or from the second position to the third, do you start with the third finger and then put that one up to its final resting place? Or do you start with your starting point and push that one beyond its normal place? And I guess maybe it depends on what your next note is that you have to play. Is there sort of a rule? I don't want to start getting into bad habits. You said it, I think, before that it's it really depends on what note you're going to want, end up wanting to do after that. Like when you land on your slide, what what do you have to do and what finger will be optimal for you to be to land on so for so there is to the first part of your question there's no hard and fast rule i think with sliding it's just what's going to be the most practical solution so if if you want to um do a slide or like let's say you're sliding your example is like d2 to 3 how to slide that. So there's two ways to do it. You could do slide with your second finger or slide with your third, which would mean pulling it back to where the second was and sliding it up. So it really just depends on what you wanted to do. So if you wanted to do something where you kept your third down, you would, you would use the third, slide with the third that is. I'm just making stuff up because I can't think of a tune, but but maybe there's a case where you'd want to actually use your second finger because you you wanted to come right back. Say you wanted to slide up and back, then it would make sense. It would be logical to use your second. So I guess. If you really want to get into it and you want to you want to find out how you should slide, you should just kind of look look at where where you're going and and analyze it a little bit that way. Just just and and if you're not sure, then just try it both ways. I mean, that's kind of like what fiddling is to me. You know, like the common term fiddling around. You know, you're just trying it different ways. But I understand though that you were asking like, I, am I going to develop a bad habit? Or something and and so just to address that I think that when you're learning to slide the that what I would focus on is sliding up to a note and using the fing finger you would normally use for that note so if you want to learn sliding start with just sliding into one from low one Sliding into two from low two and three. And if your fourth finger is strong, fourth. All right. And there's a lot of other options you can do with sliding. There's all kinds of crazy things. I mean, you could slide big slides too, like bigger intervals. But when you're learning, like I would use those posi finger positions you know real well. So do you have it? Yeah, any uh, follow-up question? Tom? Yeah, um, yeah. Like on this, I'm just playing the song. Or, um, what's it called? Uh, Whiskey in the Jar. And okay. there's a couple of parts where it actually goes from uh, uh, D one, two, three, and then back to two. Um, so, like, but but I want but I want to slide the two to three, so I go. But, that, but my next note after is, 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 a, is a two, D2. So I have to use my, my third finger to start out the second go up so that my, my second finger is available for the next note. Um, can you do that part again? I want to I just... I might, I might have to play into it. So just a second. So 
sorry. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it, but I guess this part, the actual song's been... Whereas I go... And so I, when I go from, from D2 to D3, my next note is a D2, so I have to use my third finger because so that my second finger is available for the D2 note, right? But yeah. later on in the song, it goes from, it goes D1, 2, 3, so I fly from 2 to 3, but my next note is a 1. And so there, actually, I find it easier to go use my second finger to push up and then just like go and then I'm already sitting on the 1. And so I guess I do use different methods in the same song, and I just wondered if that's okay, and it sounds like it is. Yeah. And yeah, I, I would just, I, I would do it slowly and, and then more quickly and see what's working best. Yeah. You know, like those, those tempo, different tempos will help you figure out what's working. There, there is no absolute right way. Like, I, I don't know exactly that phrase you're playing, but conceivably you could use your second. That's and skip, that's you know, that's slide with the second on that phrase, yeah. And but you know it, it so we kind of hit up against like personal preference versus like really good form and with sliding it's it's a little open you know and so if you're unsure I would I would stick with landing on standard positions so that that second thing I did is sliding from two to a position it wouldn't normally be in and and just as a beginner you know like I would just say like avoid that you know use your third slide in with a third so but yeah it's the, down the line there might be a a situation where you'll want to change that rule so it's just like a rule of thumb for now okay good thanks yeah thank you thanks for playing too go to fiddlehead.com for a progressive step-by-step -step course outline color-coded tabs play along tracks sheet music and much more. Thanks for watching the video club. Excellent. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.